गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर किरट पोदार अंगड़ी इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगाम इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ बाय यूजिंग अ कॉन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम हाउ टू ऑब्टेन इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ गिवन फंक्शन इन दिस एग्जांपल वी कैन सी यूजिंग कॉन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम ऑब्टेन द इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ 1 डिवाइडेड बाय s into s स्क्वायर प्लस a स्क्वायर फाइन a square plus a square. Uh, in this case, very first, we have to consider one point. What is that? We know that. In this case, we know that. Uh, or else, directly we take. Let us take this result. You can see here. It is a product of two functions. Therefore, let us consider this as. y bar of s into g bar of s which is equal to 1 divided by s into s square plus a square fine therefore from here let us split up what is y bar of s and what is g bar of s fine so y bar of s is equal to from here you can take a split up y bar of s is equal to We can take a uh, one by s, where g bar of s is equal to one divided by s square plus a square. Fine. Then we need uh, apply Laplace on both sides, or else Laplace inverse on both sides. Then Laplace inverse of y bar of s is equal to Laplace inverse of one by s. Therefore, Laplace inverse of y bar of s is nothing but y of t, which is Nothing but one now. Okay. Similarly, similarly, Laplace inverse of g bar of s is equal to Laplace inverse of one divided by s square plus a square. This is nothing but g of t, which is equal to what is Laplace inverse of uh, one divided by s square plus a square. That is sin a t divided by a. So we got f of t and g of t. Then let us uh, use convolution theorem. What it says? Convolution theorem by convolution theorem we have Laplace inverse of Y bar of s into g bar of s is equal to integration of y of u into g of t minus u with respect to u, where u is from zero to t. Okay. In this case, let us add all these things. So Laplace inverse of y bar of s into g bar of s is equal to Equal to integration from u equal to zero to t. What is f of u? Here we can see f of t is equal to one. Therefore, f of u is equal to one only. Then g of t is equal to sine a t by a. Then g of t minus u is equal to means replace t by t minus u. Then it becomes sine of sine a into t minus u divided by A with respect to u. Suddenly, don't cancel this uh, a and a here. So, which is equal to Laplace inverse of y bar of s into g bar of s is equal to. This is equal to integration from u equal to zero to t of sine a into t a t minus a u. Divided by a with respect to u. With respect to u. Fine. Therefore, which is equal to uh, now integration of sine. Integration of sine is integration of sine is minus. Cos of a t minus a u divided by a into 
differentiation of this now that gives minus a okay between u is equal to 0 to t which is equal to further minus minus get balanced then it is cos a t minus a u divided by a square where u is equal to 0 to t fine therefore laplace inverse of f bar of s into g bar of s is equal to substitute upper and lower limit if you substitute upper limit 1 by a square will be taken common if you substitute upper limit then cos a t minus a t so it becomes cos 0 cos 0 minus if you substitute lower limit then in place of u if you put 0 then it becomes cos a t cos a t therefore therefore finally laplace inverse of f bar of s laplace inverse of f bar of s but what is the f bar of s here y bar of s means the given term that is laplace inverse of 1 divided by s into s square plus a square is equal to 1 minus cos at divided by a square 